Yo, how's it going guys? For today, I have kind of a more serious video. So, I don't know if a lot, probably not much of you know that I'm type 1 diabetic. Just, I called my channel bodybuilding with diabetes at first. And then, I don't know, I was like, might as well just put my name. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video. Just spread a bit of awareness that type 1 diabetes and bodybuilding isn't as easy as some people may show you it is at least in my experience i handle it somewhat well and i have somewhat of a decent phys physique now after almost three years of lifting but yeah so the first problem is when you're cutting and you have a low blood sugar you pretty much mess up the day because you take too much insulin blood sugar dips you have to drink some juice and then if after 15 minutes it's still low you have to drink another juice and so on until it's not low anymore and that is not really the problem the problem is what happens before you get to the juice see sometimes when it gets low enough you feel like if you haven't ate in a week you get this insane hunger out of nowhere like half an hour ago you're perfectly fine boom low blood sugar and i kid you not one night i woke up had low blood sugar and i ate 3000 calories in 15 minutes and it sucks because i was cutting and i basically ate as if i was bulking so these are like 3000 extra calories out of nowhere and it sets you back quite a bit if you're at it seriously. And I kid you not, I literally woke up, drank the juice, ate a whole pack of chocolate. I'll show you the brand. It's like this Canadian brand, like a square chocolate with a castle on it. I forgot the name because we don't get them anymore for some reason. But I'll just put it as a display. And then finished that. That alone was like 2,000 calories plus the juice. And then I ate two sandwiches peanut butter sandwiches in 15 minutes all of that in 15 minutes and then you finish and then you feel like shit because all of this food inside of your body and you've been cutting and then boom out of nowhere you eat like if you're bulking in like one sitting and yeah it sets you up quite a bit i had my abs showing the day before ate that woke up the next day my abs were kind of disappearing it's not that bad See, I control my low blood sugars. Um, I get them super rarely now because I've been on top of my diabetes now for 12 years. And because I had it when I was eight, I'm 20 now. And I try as much as possible not to get any lows. I get them once every two, three weeks, which is uh, fairly good for someone who has type one diabetes. But yeah, that was the first thing. Second thing is when you're working out, let's say you're working out you have to check your blood sugar every time just in case but the thing is you can never trust the machines because maybe your blood sugar is dipping is in the process of dipping and you don't know you just check it you're like oh i'm at 5.0 i'll take it a little snack it's a little low but for all you know your blood sugar might be still dipping and you'll be doing a set of something and sometimes you get out of it they say that you look like as if you were drunk you're like mentally not really there and i don't know i get quiet i guess i just like just stop talking and i get into my own head but i don't think i ever act drunk because i don't know haven't gotten drunk i don't drink that much i drink maybe once every six months but because not much on drinking and you're doing a set and then you start feeling weak and then you might be like oh i don't know maybe i'm i'm tired whatnot and then for all you know you're having a low blood sugar dip and then you don't want to go into a coma because if your blood sugar dips too low you pass out and you can die it's really serious thankfully never happened to me if it happens usually they use glucagon it's uh water with uh, salt i think i'll just check in case i'll put the um what it means in the video but yeah okay so i'm just gonna correct myself because i had it wrong 
glucagon is a hormone that raises a person's blood sugar which is in the pancreas it's released from the pancreas and in a type 1 diabetic like myself our pancreas doesn't work it doesn't release insulin it doesn't release glucagon and glucagon ensures that blood sugar does not drop too low so usually normal people that don't have type 1 diabetes don't need glucagon because your body pretty much protects you from it from having a, a dip that is too low that you'll pass out and die but myself if i were to pass out they would have to inject me with glucagon so that it can raise my blood sugar back to a normal level and yeah it literally it shocks you to wake you up and after that they give you juice whatever some quick acting uh, sugars so that you can get back to where you were and that was the second thing all right so the third thing is it's mostly personal i feel like but because you know as a diabetic you have a few choices of how you take your insulin some people take injections some people have a pump and i personally ha i take injections i used to have a pump didn't like it once i started doing sports because it gets in the way i mean at least for me one day i was playing basketball someone hit it boom didn't have insulin the whole day felt super crappy so i reverted back to taking uh, the shots and the thing is when you're bulking you eat a lot so you have to take multiple shots a day i already take usually three shots for when i'm eating for uh your dinner supper whatever whenever you're eating and a fourth shot for your slow acting insulin that goes throughout the whole day but when you're bulking you i eat five six meals a day instead of three and that bumps up the amount of shots i have to take and it really sucks because when you're building muscles you're pretty much you're reducing how much fat you have and it is easier to take the shots in in your fat than on the muscles on the muscle it hurts it really hurts and you have to constantly change the places because you don't want to develop bumps wherever uh, wherever you're taking your injections so say in the morning i take it in my back lower back in the uh, afternoon i take it in my stomach and in the evening in my legs i used to take it in my arms but my arms don't have any more fat as i used to when i was a kid and it hurt so i had to stop so i have less places where to take my injections thus i have to resort to lesser space and i have to be careful and if i'm cutting i have less fat but when i'm bulking i have i have more fat but i have to take also more insulin and it really sucks and sometimes it's really demotivating because you're like oh i have to take my insulin because i'm eating i mean after after a decade you kind of get used to it but it's always in the back of your mind that you're like uh, not really it anymore and then it, sometimes it can demotivate you but so far so good for me i'm trying to keep on top of it as much as i can but yeah that's for number three reason number four is that when you do any type of activities basically there is a time a window where it might affect your insulin insulin um, sensitivity so basically say i were to do my sports or whatever in my case bodybuilding it, i can get affected 48 hours up to 48 hours after i started doing it so sometimes when you do too much activities it based like your blood sugar might dip if you haven't eaten enough or you haven't taken a snack but sometimes you might be like oh i don't understand why my blood sugar is dipping well because you're working out or whatever sport you're doing 24 to 48 hours later you might get hit from it so you'll be normal and then out of nowhere inexplicably boom your blood sugar starts to dip and it really sucks but you have to take that into consideration so every time you take insulin like take a bit less if you say i just worked out i'll take a tiny bit less insulin just to prevent that but yeah these are the four reasons why bodybuilding with diabetes sucks pretty much but honestly it's pretty good because it might be some things might be bad but see i 
since I work out, I have a better insulin uh, sensitivity. Usually people, in their sensitivity like increases or not decreases. So basically you have to take more insulin for the foods you're eating. But since I'm doing sports, mine isn't going up that high that fast. And it's actually decreasing sometimes. And yeah, see, there's always a positive in all of the negatives. And honestly, bodybuilding is super fun for me. It takes my mind off of stuff and it makes me feel great. That makes me look great, at least in my point of view. And yeah, anyways, if you guys liked the video, smash the thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.